All right. So we're talking here about cables. Uh, this chapter four is about you know the cables that we use for different media connections, mostly copper and fiber optic. So the cables you guys have been working on is mostly probably 100% copper. And when you talk about different cable types, you're trying to look at um, one of the one of the key features that you're looking at there is you're looking at the bandwidth, right? The speed at which signals can be sent, the speed, right? So if I was to pull this, uh, pull this notepad up here and take a few seconds to look at, you know, some things. When you talk about bandwidth, uh, you look at one, so let's say, you know, one MBPS here, and let's look at one MB. Um, so Will, uh, tell me, when you see this kind of, uh, should I say, when you see stuff written down like this, uh, what does 1MB refer to? And what does 1MBPS refer to, do you know, do you think? Um, MBPS we, we, is in yeah. regards to like the speed of like data transfer. And then 1MB is um, storage, like the size. Okay, yep, so storage size, you're right. The file size, storage size. All right. So it's very important how this stuff is written down and for you to be able to read it. Believe it or not, you go for an interview, for an internship or for a part-time job or something with Microsoft, and they give you a sheet of paper and tell you to answer some questions. And they're going to write down one MBPS and say, what does that refer to? Or one MB. What does that refer to? You've got to absolutely know that as an IT student, that when you see the capitalized letters, um, one MB, it refers to, or it can be, you know, it can be one MB, it can be, you know, it can be two, four, five, you know, KB, things like that. But once you see the uppercase uh, characters here, KB, MB, GB, that always refers to storage size. For example, if I pull up some files here, uh, say I look at uh, schools, I don't know, uh, let's look at some files here. So you can see to the right hand side here on the size, very small files, right? Four, K, four kilobytes, one, one KB, four KB and stuff like that. Uh, if I want to look at um, some larger files here, see so I have some you know junk files here, you can maybe see you have larger files here, right? 935 KB, 1014, uh, 1428 KB, things like that, right? So when you see that designation, the way it's written down, that's the storage size. Now, when you see 1 MBPS, right? Uppercase M, lowercase BPS, right? That always refers to the speed of transfer, right? Data is transferred, uh, data is transferred um, in bits per second, BS, bits per second, bits per second. That's how you transfer data, right? Now, if you go to your control panel, we've done this quite a few times, and you look at your Ethernet or your Wi-Fi in the control panel, you can see on the speed, it's going to tell you what your speed is. My speed right now is one gigabits, one gigabits per second, right? So talking about gigabits per second, megabits per second, and stuff like that refers to the speed at which signals can be sent. That's what you talk about is bandwidth. When you say we don't have enough bandwidth, we need more bandwidth, we need to increase the bandwidth, you're talking about basically being able to increase how much data you can move every second. Um, Summer, let me go to you. T talking about bandwidth, right? So let's say, uh, you know, there's a school and you've got 60 kids, you know, 60 elementary school kids. They're going to be moved across town, you know, on a tour. 
And you're trying to think of the best way to get all these kids across town, right? Some are you there? Yeah. And someone says, uh, well, you know, I have a car. My car is a Mini Cooper. I mean, we can use that, right? It wouldn't be the best. Now, if you're going to use that Mini Cooper, how long is it going to take you to do the job? Depending on how many kids, probably a while. 60 kids. How many minutes is the drive? I don't know. 15 minutes across town and back. Go back. Mini Cooper. Would say no, 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 don't do the, don't do the exact yeah. math. No, no, don't do the exact math. Just the idea is it's going to probably take a long time, right? Okay. Many trips back and forth. Hours. Say that again? Probably like over two hours. Not okay. So, so, so someone says to you, well, someone, you got an idea. How can we get the job done faster? What would you say? A bus. Anybody's got a bus around here, right? So... So think about that, right? That's what you mean by bandwidth, right? How much can we move every second in terms of data? How much data can we move? Can we transport? So a Mini Cooper has very little space, maybe a couple of kids, right? You got to go and come back. A school bus, maybe in two trips or three trips, it's, it's all done. More bandwidth, right? So... How many, how much data can you move? How many bits per second can you transfer? You know, that's how you, that's why we, that's how we have the MBPS. So it could be one megabit, one gigabit, whatever it is. If you see the BPS in lowercase, that always refers to speed of transfer or bits per second. How many bits you can transfer. So you want to be sure of how much time is going to take you. Well, you've got to break down. So if I said to you, uh, we have 760, who knows, gigabits of data, right? And we want to transfer this at a speed of, who knows, two gigabits per second, right? How long is it going to take? Well, you can do the math. 760 gigabytes, that's a lot of, that's a huge you know, file size, but it takes a speed of two gigabits per second to transfer it. Then your question is, well, how long? Right? How long? So you gotta you gotta do the math. You gotta convert all your gigabits into bits, and then work out the math, right? But when I go, I mean, that's you can do that maybe when you're <laughs> when you're finding it hard to sleep at night. Okay. So that's the idea. So when you talk about cables, you're talking about cables with different abilities here. Let's go to the next slide. Um, so we're going to look at copper, we're going to look at fiber optic. They have different standards, right? Like here it says the bandwidth rating, number of bits per second that can be transmitted. So the rating. The rating is usually on the sleeve of the cable, right? On the outside of the cable. You can see it right there, CAT5, CAT6. And all the different cable ratings or categories tell you, you know, what it can do. What it can do, all right? Okay, let's go here. So all your different cables, when they transfer data, are susceptible to different types of interference, different issues. Uh, EMI, RFI, electronic, electromagnetic interference, right? Um, radio frequency interference are things that, uh, let's say you have, um, you live close to some kind of electrical installation or maybe maybe you're, there's a huge wind, um, maybe a wind turbine or something, or some, you know, maybe near the airport. Places where there's a lot of activity might sort of negatively affect the performance of signals, right? Now we come down here to the bottom part of this uh, slide. It's, there's a susceptibility that affects copper doesn't affect fiber optic. So copper wire um, affected by electronic eavesdropping. Eavesdropping in, in the world of IT is with the right tools, you can read the data that's passing through a medium with the right tools. Um, 
especially if there's no encryption and there's no security, right? The data can be uh, exposed, eavesdropping, so to speak. You can hear, in a sense, not hear with your physical ears, but in a way that you can, you can access the data, right, if it's not properly protected, right, stuff like that. So copper wire, um, you know, that, can, that copper wire can be affected by that, right? But fiber optic media, fiber optic cables, right? They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't use uh, copper. They don't use electricity. They use light signals. Okay, and they are absolutely not susceptible to interference or eavesdropping. Fiber optic cables. All right. Uh, now, uh, let me go back to you. Let's see. Dev. Dev, you there? Dev? Or how about Eduardo? Okay. So now let's talk about something else here. We want to talk about the placement, right, where we place cables in a house, in a room, in a building, where we place cables and the type of cables that are good for placement in different places, okay, different parts of the house, okay. So, uh, Eduardo, in your house or, yeah, I guess I can say in your house or in a building, so you have a ceiling, right, right above, you have the ceiling. Now, the space inside the ceiling what what goes in that space? Do you know? What kind of what can you expect to find there? I, I, I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, if you could get if you could get a ladder and sort of get into that space, you know, that's inside the ceiling, what would you what might you find there? Besides all the creepy crawlers. I mean. I, I would basically I would see a lot of electrical cables. Um, uh, electrical cables, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, Brandon. What else would you expect to find? You know, in the ceiling. That that's those spaces. What? What more? Uh, usually, there is isolation. Those cables. Um, I mean, like in insulation, right? Yeah, insulation and also like all the. Yep. I'm I'm more adapted to houses in Brazil where it's all concrete. And all right. Use like a yellow uh, type. It's not a cable, but it protects the cables, and that also yeah, the more isolation as possible because you don't want to uh, have a water damage or water. <laughs> Okay. All right, Brandon, what do you have? Uh, what else would you expect to find in those spaces? That was for me. Oh, sorry. So, uh, besides the wires and insulation, I guess. What else? Like in, in the ceiling? Yeah, in the ceiling, that's right. Okay, how about um, if you have AC, right? You have AC, air conditioning and stuff. <clears throat> Don't you have all the vents and all those things going through those spaces? Yeah. So you might see a lot of pipes, maybe? Yeah, for the... You see. All right. So, what's the what do you call those spaces, Brandon? Is there a name for those spaces in the ceiling or under the floorboards? Is there a name for it? Uh, not sure exactly. If there is, I I feel like I know it, but. I'm not it's sure not coming that. to you right now. 
Vincent, what, are, what, what's the, what do we call those spaces inside the ceiling? Any idea? I have no clue. The only word I can no clue is probably like an attic almost, but like that's you have to have access up there, so it's not an attic, right? Are you trying okay, to, well, Professor, are you trying to refer to like uh, outlets? Well, let me show you what I mean. Let's look at this here. So, so here's what we're talking about, right? Very quickly. So here's a here's a room here, you know, a room, you know, in a building. This could be your bedroom. This could be, you know, in an office or something. Uh, you have the you have the what you call the false ceiling here, right? The air vents are, you know, piping the air down. So here's your this top part here is where you have your um, that's the inside the ceiling. These spaces are called plenum spaces, right? They're called plenum. You're going to see this a lot in your next assignment. Uh, plenum. They're called plenum spaces. Technical IT word. Plenum spaces, right? So these spaces, you have the air ducts, right? You're going to see air ducts. Basically, that's how air flows, um, you know, through the house, through the room. So if there was going to be a fire, right, a uh, possibility is that because of the air that flows in this, maybe it's like um, above the ceiling or, you know, beneath the floorboards right here, there's a lot of spaces there. And so air could, air would easily flow, right, in those spaces. Now, um, the question is, if you were a Sindhu, let me ask you this. If you were going to, you know, you see some movies, right? And you see some strange things in movies. But let's say you had a bunch of people in this room and you want to, um, you know, some people have a, it's a movie where you want to poison everyone in the room. Right? Sindhu? Yeah. What happens if you sprayed this? horrible thing, you know, in the air ducts. Um, it will go through it. It will go through it. It will go all through the ceiling. It will spread all around the room. So all the air spaces will be a way of spreading uh, the fumes. It will spread the fumes, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, there could be problems there. Now, the cables, the cables that we use in those plenum spaces, plenum spaces have to be rated. There's a certain rating for those cables. Basically, you have to know what kind of cables do we install in those spaces, above the ceiling, underneath the floorboards. What kind of cables do we use in those spaces? Um, okay. Go ahead. Somebody had a question? All right, well, let me ask uh, Michael. Go ahead. I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm interrupting you. Uh, Josh, go ahead. The UN, it was like the UMP cables or something. Okay, well, before I answer that question, Josh, uh, just very quickly here. So you have a charger, right? You have maybe many chargers at home for your phones and stuff, right? Josh? Yeah. You have chargers for your phone? Right. Josh, right. you're not talking to me. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Now, what happens if you took a lighter and you, you know, set those cables on fire? What kind of fumes are going to come out of those cables? The wires, uh, the plastic fumes. Yeah, how would it? How would it? You know, would it affect you? Are they? You know, what kind of fumes are they? Are they like soothing and you know, s sweet smells and stuff? No, nah, it'll ruin the connections, the insulation. But okay, and how about the uh, the fumes themselves? The fumes. What you know? What 
does that do to you? The fumes oh. that come out of those burning cables. Yeah, you need the right, you need the right plenum rated cables or else it'll burn up. All right. Well, here's what, here's the point, right? So those kind of fumes yeah. that come out of regular cables and wires, right, are toxic, toxic fumes. So if you had those kind of cables in the plenum spaces and there was a fire, the cables will help to, you know, will make it worse, basically. The cables will make it worse. The cables will burn up and the fire and the fumes will spread all over the place. So we have certain ratings for cables. Uh, basically what it says is the cables that are CMP, a cable that is used in plenum spaces must be CMP, communication plenums, right? This word here, communication plenum, plenum. And the cables, the regular cables are uh, CMR, communication risers okay um so this communication plenum uh cables are coded with teflon teflon uh teflon teflon um kind of the kind of material omar have you you know the word teflon have you heard that word before no. or kevlar no first time i heard Kevlar, anybody knows what Kevlar is associated with? What kind of? Anybody yeah, heard of Kevlar? Kevlar? I know Kevlar, Kevlar armor. Yeah. Oh, exactly, yeah. bulletproof. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, bulletproof, right? So very, very uh, solid materials that are used by a lot by the military right, and the police. Bulletproof, right? So ke Teflon is a, is a very tough material that is, that, uh, is used to coat this kind of cables that are used in plenum spaces so that if they burn, they self-extinguish, self-extinguish. They don't just burn forever. They burn, catch fire, and they kind of die on their own without causing much trouble, okay? So we're gonna end it there. We're gonna pick this up on Thursday. Uh, let's do the attendance and uh, let's see. Who's gonna tell us the, uh, I think that was uh, Omar, right? You're going to tell us the date of the new submission. If you submit it and your work has, let me stop this sharing now and end that. If your work has some issues, then you got to resubmit it. So, Omar, what's the date? It's totally up to you. 1st April. April 1st? Yes. All right, anyone has any objections to uh, Omar's uh, April 1st? No. Okay, so April 1st, no objections. We're gonna make the new resubmission date, April 1st. So let me get the attendance out of here and we can be on our way. Give me one second. What options do you see there? Oh, uh, I think you see options there. Yeah, what options are there? I'm doing call All right, so the uh, code is ring. Ring. Ring as in ring doorbell or the ring on your finger. Ring. Professor. Yes, go ahead. Uh, what is the, 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 the main difference between CMP and CMR? How it burns. How, how it burns? Right, how it burns. The CMR is used in like elevator shafts, like, you know, running from the, from the ground floor all the way to the top of the building through, you know, through the walls and stuff like that. Okay. Um, so the CMRs, they're called, you know, communication risers. They can rise with the building. But the CMPs 
um, are coated with some material, especially when it comes to being combustible, that is burning, right? If it burns, it's supposed to self-extinguish. That's, you know, it shouldn't just keep burning forever. And that's because in those plenum spaces, the air can move stuff around very quickly, and that can be a problem for the people in the building. So that's one of the key, key issues there, is the kind of material it's made of, right? It prevents it from burning continuously. It's gonna self-extinguish, and that's why it's rated for um, those plenum spaces and not just for other general areas like the CMR. Okay. So we're going to spend more time on it on Thursday. I just wanted to give us an intro okay. today. Uh, just a other question about the discussion group. Uh, are we going to have this week one? Yes. I'll let it, I'll, I'll, yeah, it'll come out on, we had a break, right? So it'll be Thursday to next week, Wednesday. Okay. So, okay. All right. Um, all right. All right. Any other questions from anyone? Uh, sorry, just clarifying. The discussion will be due yeah. next week. It will it usually is uh, Thursday to Wednesday, right? Right. So it'll it'll be yeah, it'll be this Thursday to next week Wednesday. So we had a break for a week and a half there about. All right, gotcha. Uh, All right, Professor Benjo, I just yes, go ahead. Sure, I just want to make sure the tennis is ring, right? Because uh, ring, okay. ring. Like you hear this ringing in your ears. I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. Uh, Ring. Professor, can I go through with you my uh, cable? Well, that's going to be a different time. Uh, you because said, I've got a class right now. OK. Uh, you said that it could be the end of the class, but um, I understand. Can you just, I already sent a new video on there. If you can just give Yeah, you see, the important thing is, if you don't have enough evidence, like I explained, right, just try to put some more stuff there. Some okay. of you have to repeat your whole process. Okay. If I that's just, what you have to do, that's what you have to do, right? I just so, I just did a new video where I'm doing, but that's fine. I think all right, I'm, so if you have a new video there, then I will go up there and I will look at it and you should be fine. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Do you have any, any office hours that I can go through? Uh, I need to go. Send with me an email. Send me an email. We agree on a time. Okay. And it's not a, that's not a big problem at all. Okay. I will do that. Thank you so much. All right. I said a quick question. My, uh, for my grade, I don't have a grade or a comment for my... Uh, uh, this is who? Bobby. Um, you had enough uh, stuff when you submitted yours, right? Because if I didn't put a comment, generally it means you were okay, but... so. Looking at your work, you think everything was fine? Yeah, I did. I did the YouTube video. I had like the private one where I did like the speech. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's why I referred to the YouTube because I remembered yours, right? So I think, yeah. yeah, I don't think you have a problem. Okay, yeah, no, I, on yeah, my, I was, it still says needs. Go right? ahead. I didn't know. Uh, yeah, it would be great. Don't worry about it. Okay, no, I didn't know. Uh, you know. On my end, all right. I right, think yeah. I mean, I, I, the comments were for mostly if you had something to do, you know, like some corrections and stuff, but. Okay. If you didn't have any comments, then you're mostly, you don't have any, yeah, no issues at all. All right, perfect. Thank you, perfect. Thank you. All right, no problem. Talk to you guys on Thursday. Have a good day. All right, you too.